The lead designer of the University Village project says there is field space, the size of about three and a half football fields. But students and club athletes are not feeling victorious yet. Plans are not set in stone. This wooden block soared more than 350 feet beyond that launch post. It's supposed to propel the fireworks in the air, but instead it went sideways. More than 100 people worldwide have snatched jobs with Cornerstone On Demand because of billboards like these. But this is truly a local company. About half the staff are here in Los Angeles. The Oculus Rift allows users to have a wider field of vision. And the designer added the accelerometer. So when you put on the goggles, you can look around the game just by moving your head. 600 feet of this road collapsed into the Pacific Ocean last week. City engineers are saying the cliff crumbled because of heavy rainfall. Now, this area has been fenced off for nine months as LA officials saw the road weakening. Feeding money into small businesses like Cafe 22 helped fuel the economy and provide more jobs. In LA alone, nearly two million people have jobs because of these small businesses. Tears of joy streamed down many faces today as 74-year-old Mary Virginia Jones learned she'll be a free woman. As long as I can see my mama, man, as long as I can see. <laughs> It's been 32 years since Jones' son has seen her face. I'm glad she didn't die in there like my, like my young brother did. Jones was convicted of first-degree murder, kidnapping, and robbery in 1981. She says her abusive boyfriend kidnapped two drug dealers and forced her at gunpoint to shoot them. One man died, the other survived. I did not willingly participate in this crime. The USC post-conviction justice program put law students on Jones's case eight years ago. The law has changed enough that we're able to revisit her case, present expert testimony. Battered women syndrome wasn't a valid plea when Jones testified more than three decades ago, but legislation introduced in the 90s enabled experts to explain how abuse affected her decisions. Court orders. The judge says Jones's sentence would have been less than a dozen years under the new law. The district attorney agreed to her release. To sit back and hear the days be converted down to like 11 years after she had done 32, you know, it almost seems like an injustice, but we're so happy to have her out that we'll take anything. I love you, Lord. Family and friends outside the courthouse celebrated Jones's release. She was known by her fruit, her patience, her love, her care for everybody. I don't care what happened to me, just as long as she had home. Tonight, Jones's children will catch up on lost time. I'm looking real forward to Mother's Day this year. Really, really forward to Mother's Day. When the smoke clear, then I can go spend quality time with my mom. Jones's son says he plans to take his mom home to Long Beach. Sarah Sachs, ATVN. This is where fantasy meets reality. We've all had dreams of flying. We've all, like, wanted to do that at one point of our lives. But in our game, you can do it. You can fly. A select group of USC game designers are launching into the world of Rhea. It's a Roman Empire civilization they've created where the player can explore the deserted city and fly to complete the game's challenges. Mike Langley is a designer for Rhea. He works with a team of about 20 Trojans to craft the world so detailed you feel like you're experiencing it. All thanks to this. When you're in the rift, it feels like you're flying. Rhea is engineered for the newest and most wanted virtual reality goggles called the Oculus Rift. If you just look over the ledge of, like, of a cliff, it's like, oh, whatever. But when you have goggles on and you physically look down over a ledge, there is an element of, like, you sort of fear falling off. 21-year-old Palmer Lucky created the Oculus Rift so that gamers can enter the world they're playing in. This pair of virtual reality goggles is turning heads because of its HD quality and motion detection. The Oculus Rift allows users to have a wider field of vision, and the designer added the accelerometer. So when you put on the goggles, you can look around the game just by moving your head. But the immersive experience does cause motion sickness. 
we can't just accelerate players left and right and do all these crazy things that you can do in other games uh, because it makes people sick. Lucky warns game designers to be careful when they code so gamers aren't thrown around in the headset. I don't think it will ever eclipse mainstream games uh, that you know take place on a flat screen monitor. Um, but it will, I think there'll certainly be a niche for it. Perhaps that niche is an education. You can be in the Grand Canyon and have a two scale representation around you digitally, and you can have people point out, you know, the different geological formations and how they've been formed by weathering over time. But this vision will have to wait. The official Oculus Rift hasn't been released yet. These Trojans are designing Rhea on a trial version. Lucky has sold more than 50,000 unofficial Oculus Rifts at $300 a piece, bringing in more than $1.5 million. Lucky hopes to release the first consumer version, also for $300, later this year. Sarah Sachs, ATVN. Take a look at this play, a well-executed quarterback sack. Number three. That number three is linebacker Frankie Telfort, recruited as a high school player to 38 Division I colleges for a game with a special place in his heart. They say give 110%, that's what I did. Passion and perfection led him to play for the USC Trojans. I can't stand to be bad at anything. I'm going to practice. But no amount of practice prepared him for what came next. Several weeks into Frankie's USC football career, he was diagnosed with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, right a heart condition that kicked him to the sidelines. I had to sign a release form saying that I officially retired and would never step on the field again as a player. HCM causes Frankie's heart muscles to swell, which restricts the blood flow from his heart to his body. His life had changed, like uh, something that was very dear to him was taken away. One of our starters got hurt and then the backup got hurt. And literally, like I was thinking, like if I was playing right now, I'd be a starter for this game. The American Heart Association says one out of 500 people are diagnosed with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And for some, it could lead to unexpected death. But that doesn't stop Frankie from giving his heart to the game of football. He's still on the field, but now as an assistant coach. He comes to every practice in cleats still, so he can run around and be mobile. I never let the present affect my future. He'll run sprints with you to just to, to motivate you to run faster. He'll tell you that he'll beat you. He'll beat you because Frankie keeps his head up and his feet grounded. Never make plans for your future. Just have options because you never know exactly what's going to happen. A motto that keeps Frankie living with an open heart. Sarah Sachs reporting.